All right, y'all, before we get started with today's video, I want to take a second and tell y'all about a big race we have coming up November 18th and 19th at Deep South Speedway. On Friday, November 18th, we'll be racing for $5,000, super late models, $5,000 Friday, November 18th, and then on Saturday, November 19th, it's 20,000 to win. It's gonna be the biggest race ever held at Deep South Speedway, and we're super excited to announce that Sweet Victory Apparel is coming on board as a presenting sponsor. So with that being said, we're going to call it Hunt the Front's Southern Showcase, presented by Sweet Victory Apparel. Y'all know how much we like Sweet Victory Apparel, so not only were we excited to have them on board as a presenting sponsor, but we're also excited to be doing a giveaway where you can win both Sweet Victory Apparel as well as Hunt the Front Apparel. Between now and 5 p.m. on Sunday, anyone who makes a purchase of at least $50 at shopsweetvictory.com and uses the code Southern Showcase will get a free Sweet Victory sticker, a free Hunt the Front sticker, and will be entered to win weekend passes to the race. If you make a purchase of $100 or more, you'll also get a free Sweet Victory hat and we'll put your name in twice for the drawing. So help us thank Sweet Victory for supporting our event by heading over to shopsweetvictory.com. Make a purchase of $50 or more using the code Southern Showcase without any spaces and you'll get some free goodies and maybe even some free passes to what's shaping up to be a huge event November 18th and 19th at Deep South Speedway. Now let's get started with the video. Yeah, no. Go look at his uh, right side. He hit the curb. Didn't know you was working on no Chevrolet today, did you, Jordan? No, I didn't. Is that one on a wheel? No, ain't no other wheel. Oh, shoot. Flip! Where's Flip? There's a hole in this one. That look. one ain't gonna hold there. It'll get him to the tire store. <laughs> this is our neighbor, Flip. He hit a curb, and that tire had a bubble. Hey, you want to put this tire on? Huh? You want to put this tire on? No. Oh, well, where's the tire we putting on? You got it. right up. We ain't got no wheel. How you gotta get it on a wheel? That's what I'm asking. We don't have a dang tire machine, Flip. Dang. That's what I thought. I actually need to take it out. No, I thought we was just changing. You ain't got a spare? Where's your onion? The spare's open. Oh, you, he's already used it. Yeah, let him use yours, Joey. I think that'll get you to the tire store, honestly. Just don't go very fast. We were trying to help our neighbor, but it didn't quite work out this time. He's gonna have to go to the tire store. Did it crank and run? Yeah. Well, hopefully it'll crank and run up on out of here yeah, later today. To time to go for old thing. We think this thing is sold. Fella's coming to get it. So we had to go get it, bring it here. I guess we'll hose it off. Yeah, we'll hose it off for him. <laughs> this here was our first truck we bought. When did we get this thing? Last year, we had it, like we used it last year. We bought yeah, December, December of 20. Yes. Used it all last year, early this year, and now it's gone. It's a good truck. This fella is getting him a fine unit. The only thing for us is it's not quite enough truck for that trailer. Otherwise, we'd still be running it up and down the road. The other thing we're doing today is unloading from our trip to Talladega. I feel like everything has an inch of dust on top of it. It's been dry down here in the south, so we choked dust all weekend. Like barrel racing. <laughs> barrel racing. That's just, you know, the kind of attention to detail you're going to get if you ever buy something from us. We're going to wash it right before you get here to get it. We're going to make sure it's right. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead and know that. Alright, that looks much better. We got to get these race cars unloaded and cleaned up. Hey, at least y'all don't have to worry about the nose hanging up. Poor HTF1 car. Jesse had to say something about the nose being on it for so long. This car, if y'all remember, if you've been watching for a while, this is the one we bought, used from Shane Clanton, and I drove it. We got it originally back in November of 19th. The nose had been on it that whole time. Jesse says something about it last week in our video. Guess what he did this weekend at Talladega? Yeah, you guessed it, TKO'd it. Where is it? Oh, there it is, I see it over there. Good news is it didn't hurt anything other than we think the cosmetic on the front end there 
just gonna have to put a new nose and all on it. You got it. Come on. Watch your head on the ramp. Come on, you're clear. I mean, it could be worse. It could be, but that still ain't a good day. Yeah, them dang tires, man, they'll jump out in front of you if you don't watch it. <laughs> you gotta be extremely careful here. The last thing we wanna do is hop over that and into the radiator. Yeah. We don't wanna do any more damage than Jesse did. Yeah. All right, give her a rip. Oh yeah, you're good. You're good. gonna move it out of the way I mean it's shined up so nice and everything <laughs> nice. hey I will say this even though the result wasn't what you wanted over there your Saturday night laps were much better than your Friday night laps yeah I got better bud but you also got TKO by tire yeah <laughs> Then the tire guy. Then, the then the tire guy. Try to fill the hole with tire setting up. Huh? I don't know. Probably taking a nap. What's wrong? Can you get the red gun and a hammer? Uh-oh. Oh Lord. Do you need a drill? No. Rivet gun and a hammer. That's it. Probably. Okay, drill too. If a rivet gun, a hammer, and a drill can't fix it, I don't know what we're gonna do. Hey, you need some tape? That's oh. the last resort. Yeah, that's what. There's your whammer. Drill and rivet gun. Don't drop it on me. There you go. And then the rivets are in the, the rivet cabinet. Right. Cabinet that says rivets on it. Yep. What'd y'all tear up? That, that piece right there keeps uh, bolt folding out by the door. Uh, Can't get the race car up. That dang. Sorry, it too wide. Yeah. After the rivet is probably hanging out the wall on the outside now. Is it? Alright, let's hope not. I hope not. I don't even <laughs> want to look either. So Jesse had a rough weekend in the HDF1 car, but Joseph and Faithful, the 10 car, on the other hand, he won Friday night and fourth on Saturday. So a good weekend for Joseph for sure. Hey, it's a lot easier if you pull the nose off. Yeah. <laughs> You got to put just the right amount of pressure on the back. You got to lean forward. He's got to put a little pressure on the back. Don't, that's probably too much. There you go. It's just, it's, it's just right. You got to do it just right. see it pretty soon at a racetrack no. Woo! <laughs> he's ready to go well, that was a dirt racer from georgia bobby mills leaving with our old toter home there. hope it's good to him and he has a lot of fun with it and wins a lot of races out of it this is all from this weekend yep. hey gum yeah imagine having a mount all of them <laughs> yeah you did that yeah, now you, hey next race no next race is a crate race so we're good I think our tire bill, our brand new tire bill for the weekend was over two grand. So, there all the winnings went. I guess we're about to find out what four cars is going to look like in here. If they'll fit or not. 
Hey, we got a new TV. I don't think they saw our big screen yet. It wasn't on last week's video? I don't think it was. Wait till we get like two more of them. Maybe four, three more. We ready to let this down? Yeah, I'm on. Hey, we either gotta get another set of dollies or sell a race car. Yeah, something we gotta give here. And we also gotta strategically place four race cars in here. Tetris. It's Tetris. Basically. That and musical race cars, like I like to call it, because you move them around and. Yeah. So our next race, we decided, is not until all tech. These yeah. two cars again. Yeah. So we're going to take, there you have it. We're taking a couple weeks off and going racing, crate racing at all tech for $27,000. A lot, a lot we got a lot to get geared up for the final stretch here. Right. Yeah. We're re, weeks to get remounting it. and reloading. Did you show my air conditioner on the truck? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> We got a we got a maintenance stuff. The generator on the truck quit. Yeah, our generator wasn't working. Our air conditioner is about to fall off. We got we got a, all kinds of we stuff. We got to take some time and get and we got to finish getting moved in. And we need to move, finish moving. We got to figure out where to put our check. Yeah, yeah. We got to figure out what's going where though. That's the immediate concern. Gotta figure out. What's going on? Swing it, swing it. You gotta swing it. This one's going on jack stands over there. I feel like we should have music jamming yeah, right now. As we're right you can't have musical race cars without any music. Right. Come my way. Yeah. I got it. All right, that's going over there. Can you raise it up to there? We clearly don't know what we're doing here. We haven't done this in so long. Is that the proper way to do jack stands on a real nice floor? <laughs> That's the way we did it. Turns out we put tires on this thing for nothing. For no reason. Oh well, we needed to practice. Perfect. Plenty of room. I think they fit perfectly, honest. Yeah, Four do. cars. Man, we got enough room for one more. Yeah, you put a fifth one. I don't know what we'd do with them tires, but. Or a fifth car. Yeah. Oh. I, I swear all I've done today is put tires on the rack. <laughs> I don't think the rest of them are going to fit, buddy. You got a little more room. Unreal. Be right back. We're missing an important piece. Don't go anywhere. So Bradford mopped in here while Jordan was washing the race car, so that's much better. But this, this needs to go inside. All right, question of the day. Where are we gonna put our checks? How are we gonna do it? Y'all got any ideas? There's a, uh, okay, this is as you can tell, this is a cinder block building. Correct. So it ain't like you can just nail this into the wall. You can glue it, but it won't yeah. stay very long. But on the top, there there's is a wood. A two before or something, two by eight right. or something across the top you could nail into. And you got that and whole big wood. We thing. think too, we also got a bunch of, uh, we got a bunch of banners and stuff we got to put up and we got trophies we got to figure out need y'all suggestions we're gonna put this on that race car for now maybe let it right there over on faithful but need y'all suggestions for how we should do the checks on the wall we are going to move the ones from the other shop to here um so we got to you know have those and then we got to start our keep it going with our new collection but for now there's one more look at our packed out race shop four race cars and a bunch of tires next thing you know you're out of room like we were saying our next race will be a couple weeks from now we're going to take two weekends off from racing we're going to have a lot of work to do here uh got some pretty cool things coming up so stay tuned for that we'll be putting out videos we're not just going to leave y'all hanging but we are taking a couple weekends off from racing we'll be at all tech raceway and what's the dates on that dad gummit where's my phone third week in october there we go third week in october we'll be at all tech raceway for the powell family memorial twenty seven thousand dollars to win for crates so we'll be taking both faithful joseph and faithful jesse in the htf one car and going running for some good money pretty close to home in the crate division in the meantime thank you for hanging out with us today comment and tell us what you think we ought to do with the checks on the wall we will catch y'all again soon